here and I've been here at La Marzocco in Quality Insurance for probably about five and a half years. The Linea, you know the Linea, I think, uh, I think about the Linea a lot like, uh, like a Volkswagen Beetle because I think it really leveled the playing field for a lot of people. You know, it's got this really great engineering, but this super simple, sleek design and uh, a lot of talented people, I think, got a chance to get in the game, you know, with the Linea. So I'm from Chicago and uh, I've always been interested in machines, but right around 2001, 2002, um, espresso machines really showed up on my radar. And uh, I was hanging out at this cafe in Chicago called Atomics. It's on Chicago Avenue in Damon. And uh, I was there a lot and I started looking at their machine and I thought it was really cool. And um, I was asking the guy about it and the investment and stuff and he said he loved it. And uh, so let's, we'll fast forward a little bit. Um, in 05, I ended up moving to Seattle and uh, I talked my way into a job at um, LMI, which was, um, or at Espresso Specialists Incorporated at the time. It was before La Marzocco got the name. So, uh, so I'm looking around, um, learning about these machines, and I see, wow, that's that machine that, you know, is, I've been looking at at this cafe for all these years back home. Um, so I learned about the machine and I was really excited and uh, one kind of uh, kind of neat little thing that I learned was that on some specific machines on the serial number plate there's a B before the serial number and um, it was supposed to stand for Ballard because there's a, a select group of machines that were actually assembled in Ballard, wa uh, Ballard Washington. So I was really excited to go back home and kind of look at, re-examine the, the linea that I was kind of like grew up with and then, uh, um, you know, what do you know, I'm looking at the side of this machine in Chicago and there's a B in the serial number and I got to tell him this real special story about, you know, hey, I work in, you know, I work on these machines now and this is a kind of a unique machine that you guys got here and, um, you know, it was one of those situations where I don't really know what happened but I kind of had the feeling that I had done something right somewhere. It's been, it's been awesome working on them and um, I just think they're great machines and the mystery with the B is that I was told it was for Ballard but some people actually think it might be for Blackwell as in John Blackwell so um, the jury is still out.